Hey yo, say hello to the bad guy Scott Hall and I've got a scoop for you. And we all know there's a lot of podcasts out there and I encourage you to check out this one. It's called Going In Raw. You heard it here first, Going In Raw. Hey friend, old Steve here. <sighs> and young boy Larson. Yeah, but it's, it's like the longest week, isn't it? It is, but it isn't. <laughs> it's already Thursday, man. We're almost done with it. I know. It. We're I almost know. done Two with more it. days. Two yeah. more days. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome. Actually, only really one more day. That's true. Welcome back to Going In Raw News Brief. Uh, let's get right into it, man. Of course, smash that like button. Let's get us to 613 likes. Larson, what's in the d- news? Oh, John Cena, he's retired. <laughs> yeah, what? Hold on, what? Can't he- see him in the wrestling ring anymore. Oh, man. Hey, look, look back here. See? Look at that. Well, he did. He get he got vanished by uh, by Bray Wyatt in the in the match. But what, what are you talking about? Oh, so you know he he usually does a lot of motivational tweets. If you yeah, go to sure. his Twitter. It's all motivational stuff. Seems like a bot, but okay. It does. It's like vague uh, motivational stuff that could, you could find a posters maybe. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yesterday amongst the usual motivational stuff he tweets, he tweeted this quote: "All things end mm. when it's time to leave." Mm. Leave them guessing. Ah. Well, of course, he had match against Bray Wyatt, Firefly Funhouse match at WrestleMania, uh, at the end of which, poof, he disappears. Uh, maybe erased from WWE history. Who knows? Uh, so, of course, given this tweet, how that match ended, uh, this has fueled speculation uh, that John Cena has, in fact, wrestled his last wrestling match. What are the chances that Cena is actually done? Zero. None. Zero. Two percent botch. Two percent botch. Yeah. Now he might cut. Now, he, he'll 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 maintain the same schedule that he has for the past three years, which is sporadic WrestleMania appearances, maybe like a Madison Square Garden house show or something. But uh, beyond that, no. He's. I mean, he's he's done. But he we haven't seen the last of him. I mean, at some point he will wrestle another match. It'd be pretty cool if this was it, though. It would be awesome. It would be. It would be absolutely awesome. I if he, can't think of a better way for him to go out. If it, this that was his last match, hats off to John Cena for going out in an unusual and memorable uh, event, memorable match, uh, something which uh, we really hadn't we haven't seen before. Honestly, man, like that match. If wrestlers' careers were anything like TV series, this would that match was the perfect series finale it was the perfect series finale for john cena's career yep. and it should be and we shouldn't get a netflix uh reunion show uh we shouldn't get anything like that 10 years from now i would love it it's similar in the same way that the last time we saw stone cold steve austin wrestle a match he said you know i don't want to tarnish my legacy by coming back the finality of that fun uh, firefly funhouse match was perfect for the last time we see John Cena wrestle in the WWE, maybe even appear in the WWE, although I think that would be a shame. I think they're going to, you know, celebrate milestones uh, for him to, you know, they they love to do that, a thousand episodes, Obviously, you yeah, know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. If they're going to do one of those, um, you know, down the line, they do them all, not all the time, but they do them. Uh, it, it'd be great for John Cena to check in. But in terms of him being involved in stories, in matches, I can't think of a better end uh, for John Cena than what we saw at WrestleMania. Agreed. Agreed. That should be it. Done. Yeah, Never done. show up again. He's on to Hollywood full time. I mean, if they really want to go all the way with it, uh, give him the Benoit treatment and like delete him from exactly. the WWE network. You can't. If you, you go to the network, you search John Cena, nothing. Mm-hmm, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, That's he has said, good. look, he has said that, you know, he doesn't want, I think he's gone on record or something saying that he has no interest in beating Flair's record. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think he said that before, um, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and, and honestly, I hope that his, I hope that his movie career uh, keeps on. You know, I, I hope that with this, this next Fast and Furious movie, it launches him to like a rock-like status mm-hmm. um, in Hollywood because, uh, yeah, I like John Cena. He'd really have no time for pro wrestling after that. Yeah, same. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, speaking of something that uh, uh, apparently AEW might not have the time for in the near future, uh, the Elite Deletion. Steve, what is the status of this match that Matt Hardy just proposed last night? It's under consideration. That is according to the Wrestling Observer himself, who we know is very well uh, uh, tuned into, plugged into 
uh, yeah. AEW, given his close relationship with the EVPs over there. Uh, of course, on last night's Dynamite, uh, Matt Hardy invited uh, the uh, Circle of the Internal to the Hardy Compound to compete in Elite Deletion. So it seemed that match, that's, that's like a totally a sure thing. You wouldn't have said that if it wasn't yeah. a sure thing. Yeah. According to Dave Meltzer, it's not a sure thing. It's under consideration. I, I kind of feel like it's a sure thing, man. I think that we're going to see that one. Yeah, why would they mention it if it wasn't a sure thing? It seems like something they could do. Like, Rebby does all the photography for all his promos. Yeah. Like, I get, I would imagine she would do the photography for this or at least uh, uh, take charge of it. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird you might that you need, would say that. If it's, if it's Jericho, because uh, assume there's a stay-at-home order. Well, guess what? Matt Hardy's staying at home for this. Mm-hmm. Um, so you'd have him. You'd have Jericho. That's two people. Mm-hmm. You'd have Rebby, but she lives there. So does that really count towards the 10? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and then like another camera person, yeah. four. Audio guy, audio person, five. Uh, maybe uh, one of the EVPs or Tony Khan, six. Here's the I thing. I do this with six people. Maybe what you're saying is sort of like, maybe it's for the short term, it's under consideration because of what's going on. But once all is said and done, and you can get 50 people on the, you know, uh, there with cameras and stuff, then it's going to have, regardless, he mentioned the match. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen at some point. Yeah. I, I mean, thought when he mentioned it, it was going to be kind of the, uh, uh, something that AEW can offer up the fans until we wait for blood and guts. Because that's what they're, that's you know, probably the revolution yeah. building up to that. That's yeah. kind of like a mini pay per view slash super show uh, uh, episode of Dynamite. Um, since blood and guts is seemingly in, uh, indefinitely postponed, do elite deletion, give fans something a little extra special on TV to draw some uh, ratings. Cause we'll get to later. looks like AEW uh, is indeed something to draw some eyeballs to their product right now. Um, well, hold on. And, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Well, yeah. w- let me throw this one out there though. What is AEW known for in terms of how they treat their wrestlers, giving them all the what in the freedom. world? What if Matt Hardy in dropping this promo just sort of decided to invite this, the, you know, this match and he didn't really run it by anybody because in AEW, theoretically, you don't have to run anything by anybody. And then he well, just sent the thing. I think you have to do, you do have to run things by people. And if Freedom. the situation, like I doubt this got into the production truck with nobody watching it. <laughs> and so if Cody or Kenny or the Young Bucks or, or whomever, Tony Khan watched this and had an issue with him saying, "Hey, let's do the elite deletion," it w- they wouldn't have run it. Maybe they don't want to make him mad. Maybe they're still trying to like sign him, sign him. No, listen. The, the thing is, like, they brought Matt Hardy in, and he has been full bore, uh, broken Matt Hardy. And so, uh, so yeah, I, th- this match is going to happen. It's just whether it's going to happen sooner or later. It's going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, something that might not happen sooner or later. Uh, AEW's double or nothing oh. uh, though this is hardly seems surprising it seems like uh, AEW's next pay-per-view is at the very least in serious danger being canceled the MGM Grand Garden Arena home of the show uh, has canceled all events through the end of May except apparently officially double or nothing on May 23rd and the dynamite that's scheduled the following Wednesday hmm. May 27th apparently that's still on the schedule uh, and uh, my understanding at least according to the report from Fightful, is that the ticket links are still active. Ooh. Um, so apparently you can still buy tickets for it. Hmm. That being said, if the venue itself is saying uh, no, nothing, um, and uh, as, as far as I know, none of the casinos in Vegas have reopened. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, here I am right here on their schedule, their calendar, sure enough. Double or nothing, dynamite, and then nothing else until August 28th. Hmm. Well, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. I mean, it's. I guess they're holding out hope that it's going to happen, but. I mean, not, it does, none of it matters right now, man. Like, none of it matters. Even, even this next story, none of it matters because everything's weird right now. Everything's up in the air. Everything is tainted by pandemic. Uh, so, yeah. Like, double or nothing again. In the short term, uh, as scheduled, probably not. You know, maybe sometime in August. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know, I mean, unless they actually skip it and and just whatever the next pay per view they have, they're gonna name something else. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Yeah, no, um, do either. But uh, but you know, I mean, because the next one after that isn't it all in? Yep. Yeah. So that they're definitely if 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 they have the choice between doing double or nothing and doing all in on schedule, I think they do all in on schedule. I would yeah, think probably. I would think probably probably. 
I probably, don't... probably, probably. Speaking of other things that aren't going to happen, Larson, uh, AEW aren't going to win against NXT in the ratings war last night. <laughs> last night, yeah, NXT, they bested their competition by a grand total of 1,000 viewers. NXT got uh, 693,000 uh, viewers, whereas AEW got 692,000. However, AEW did come uh, out in the winning end of the all-important, the coveted, the vital 18 to 49 demographic. It's the only number that actually matters. Uh, 0.26 to NXT's 0.19. Both shows were up from the week prior. Uh, NXT gained about 100,000 viewers, whereas AEW only gained about 7,000. Yeesh, 100,000 uh, to 7,000? My God. That's, I mean, I guess they were both up, so that's positive. Uh, first NXT win of 2020. Of course, they won uh, the ratings battle a couple times towards the tail end of last year. First time this year, however. Yeah. Uh, none of it matters. Because it's weird pandemic time and everybody's changing all of their plans and it's all weird. Everybody's watching news, apparently. Stupid looking gym moves. (laughs) Stupid looking gym workouts is what we're stuck with right now. Uh, But that's good. Hopefully... Hopefully Triple H gets maybe he'll get his his old job position back. <laughs> now, maybe now with this dominant thousand person, a thousand people. That's a lot of people. A thousand people. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> when a you're lot. Ta- when you're talking about stuffing a thousand people into like my house, it's a ton. That's a, that's lot, a lot of people. people. That's a lot of people <laughs> across lot the of people. entirety of the viewing audience. Eh, maybe not so much, but uh, but that's cool. Good for them. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's it for the, uh, the news. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We appreciate it. Uh, stay safe out there until next time. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.